I'm breaking out the Zeus 72 caliber air rifle today. If you see my channel, you might notice that this looks a little bit different. This Zeus started life as a 72 caliber with a 32 inch barrel. Today, we're rocking this 58 caliber barrel. We're gonna be using 24 gauge shotgun shells and testing those out. If you've never seen a big bore air rifle and you're only used to 22 caliber pellets, let me show something that's gonna blow your mind. 1,315 grain and 1,465 grain, 72 caliber slugs. Over 100 times the size of this pellet. When swapping this to the 58 caliber barrel, it's much shorter than the 32 inch and the cylinder that came with my Zeus sticks out quite a fair bit. When I converted this, I also had to swap out the cylinder. My luck, the shotgun shell is gonna hit the cylinder and I'm gonna have a bomb go off my hand. So I'm a little bit more comfortable with this cylinder not sticking out about half a foot beyond the barrel. Probably nothing would happen, but I'm not taking my chances on that one. Now for these 58 caliber 24 gauge shot loads, we have four different types and two different sizes. One's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit bigger. These are, looks like we have number seven or eight bird shot. And then we have three 50 caliber pellets in there. This looks like some sort of buckshot and then two 50 caliber balls, I believe. One really cool thing about PCP air guns is that the NFA has no impact on them. You can get moderators, which are basically air gun suppressors, there's no $200 tax stamp on this. I've saved so much money by not needing to pay tax stamps on suppressors. Another instance is this shotgun does not have an 18 inch barrel. Barrel length does not matter. This would be classified as a short barrel shotgun if it were a firearm. Last but definitely not least, you can get full auto air guns and you do not need to spend $8,000 minimum for a firearm variant. The average is Somewhere between, I'd say, twenty and sixty thousand dollars for a full auto. This was seven hundred dollars on sale. So if you're looking for a firearm alternative and trying to have a lot of fun, you really can't beat this. Your biggest regret is going to be how much ammo you're going to fly through. That's about it. I am planning on bringing this out in one of my next videos featuring PCP air guns. The only thing that's going to be an issue is with the full auto. YouTube is going to demonetize and restrict my video. So if you do want to see something like that, just let me know in the comments and we'll still go ahead on it. In my previous video, I was going over PCP air guns, mentioning that you do not need an FFL in most states. I thought Illinois was the only one, but apparently New Jersey is one as well. So in 96% of the United States, you don't need an FFL to get one of these air guns. They can ship straight to your door. Let's get started. We're going to test out those 24 gauge shot shells with the Zeus and see how they perform. A big thank you to Jim at Texoma Precision Pellet for sending out the cylinder, the 58 caliber barrel, and the shotgun shells to try out. This should be some fun. We're gonna start off at 50 feet with this number seven or eight shot. I don't know exactly what it is right now, so I'll have a pin comment with all of these listed so I can be exact. And since we're not rocking a suppressor, we're gonna need ears for this. Let's see how this patterns on paper at 50 feet. If it sucks here, we're gonna step up, all right? That was not very effective. Let's go to like 25 feet. All right, let's retry. That was a little bit better, but it's still pretty spread out. Let's go to like 10 feet. Let's uh, do a headshot from here. I wonder if this is gonna need a choke. It spreads kind of like the governor does, but that only has about a two inch barrel, so an extra 12 or so inches still isn't cutting it. I'm gonna put one round on the clays and one on the sodas, and we'll see what happens here. We're topped off, full power again. Let's see how this works on the sodas. Now I think what happened was 
the sodas exploded pretty violently and then just the force from that wiped out the clays. I don't think there's any spread where the clays were, so that was just force from that soda blowing those over. All right, let's repeat this test. We're gonna use those three, I think they're 50 caliber pellets. Let's try those out. We're back at 50 feet. Let's see how this patterns. I wonder if I'm gonna hit my Texas star. Let's go to 25 feet with this, retest it on the paper, and then try and blow up some sodas. Take two. Still surprised the spread's pretty significant here, still. Let's see if we can blow a hole through the plywood. Then we'll blow up a soda, if we can actually hit it. Are we gonna make it through the plywood? I'm thinking yes. <laughs> Let's go check. All right, penned right through, no problem. Can we take out those sodas though? Got a little high speed going. It's gonna be hit or miss though. It was a miss. <laughs> Maybe we should get a little bit closer. Right about 12 feet. I'm gonna have to wait and look in the high speed of that one because something just hit me. I don't know what it was. I think it was a pellet, but it wasn't coming back at me fast, so. I'll have to see if I can find something flinging back at me. I'll meet you back at 50 feet. I'm gonna recharge the gun. Let's try those buckshot rounds. All right, 50 feet, we got these buckshot. Let's see how this works. Those veered far right. I'm gonna put one more in it, aim to the left to see if it hits center. I'm gonna aim center again. Look like it hit the two by four. I'm not a big fan of these so far at this distance. We went far right and then I'm pretty sure it went left. Then we hit the top left of the paper and hit a bullseye. I was aiming dead center. So, 25 feet, here we come. <laughs> see how it does here. That was much better. Still pretty wide, but much better. We got two more of these. Can I take these out in two shots without having to move up further? This seems to work a little bit better than those other projectiles. Granted, there are more of them in this shell, but it's definitely working a little bit better. All right, we're doing the last pattern test. Then we're gonna move on. We got gel to do. Then I wanna do some skeet shooting. Let's see how that works. Now, if we had a chain in between those two balls, the thing would be cut in half. This is a little bit too wide for my liking. All right, we cut the distance in half. See if we get any better groups. I'm not even gonna bother soda on this one. The spread is just way too far. I think I had the wrong shell loaded in that one. That looked like the buck. All right, let's run these through gel, and then I wanna see if I can do some skeet shooting with the birdshot. For the ballistics gel, we're gonna go from large to small. We got these big ones, these three pellets, the buckshot, it's number seven or eight shot. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna sit back a little bit further than I was the last time I did a test, because the plastic pieces on the shell came back at me. Figured that would go through. Let's try the three pellets. Buckshot. Let's 
Time for the bird shot. Now that last one was probably the same power as my Smith & Wesson Governor with 410, except that's only coming out of a two inch barrel. I was kind of expecting more from it. All right, skeet shooting time. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> what is the likelihood that I'm going to hit a clay pigeon out of the air with this thing? <laughs> We're gonna try. Pull. Negative. Take number two, let's go. Ready? Pull. I actually got it. <laughs> let's do one more. That was a miracle. Ready? Pull. Pull. Let's see if we can get three for three. This is gonna be the last one though. Ready? Pull. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I actually pulled that off with this thing. That's gonna wrap things up with this Zeus featuring the 58 caliber 24 gauge shotgun barrel. I'm gonna have to whip this thing back out with my 72 caliber 32 inch barrel. We're gonna absolutely devastate things with it. it. It's pretty much a night and day difference between what this thing's been putting out. But granted, these were experimental rounds that I was just trying to test out for a Texoma Precision Pellet. So there is some work to be done. The spread on this is a little bit crazy. It definitely needs a choke or maybe a longer barrel, but I think there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So if you enjoyed this content with the Zeus and you would like to see more, just leave a like, a comment, possibly subscribe, or maybe even think about becoming a member. I feature early access at all levels for 99 cents each, up to 2.99. See ya.